poker strategy right here on Card Player TV. We recently caught up with Maria Ho, who gave some tips for players who are trying to make the transition from No Limit Hold'em to Limit Hold'em. Okay, well I think they definitely need to go into it with the mentality that even though it's still Hold'em, that No Limit and Limit are two very different games. I think the best pointer I can give people is once they're, when they're starting out to play Limit, I would say starting hand selection is super important because, you know, in No Limit you can play a lot of different hands and, you know, you can play those suited connectors and stuff because you get more, you can get some all of somebody's chips, but in Limit you have to realize because of the betting format, you can't, you're not going to get as much value for those hands if you hit. So you know you're not really supposed to be calling raises with hands like that and it's really important to you know isolate the bad players in limit hold them i know people do that in in no limit as well but um i think people aren't doing that when they transition to limit because they don't realize when they have a pair of eights you know they're still trying to flop a set or set mine like they would in no limit sometimes but if you're heads up against an appoint opponent pre-flop you should probably be three betting that hand in limit um and i would say my other pointer for people trying to transition from no limit to limit is probably um make those thin value bets on the river. Um, I think a lot of times I see people miss value bets in, in Limit Hold'em because they don't realize that that's a good spot to be uh, making that thin value bet. And that's where all your edges in Limit is, you know, just it's, it's the one bet that's the, the one extra bet that's going to make you, you know, a two bet, two big bet winner, which is which makes you a winning player per hour in the game versus not. So ace king would probably be a hand that's more valuable in limit than it is in no limit and so i think you know um people don't realize what people don't realize is i think sometimes in in no limit people are always trying to you know flop hands and and whatnot but you know i think they realize they don't realize that there's um that not having to flop a pair is a very hard thing to do period you know and so in limit you know i, I see people folding ace king on the flop when they don't hit and that's definitely a, a hand where you should even if you don't connect with stay with till the turn and you know there's a lot of times when it's still good you know so it just really depends on uh, uh how the board is but you know i would say that in limit there's just more valuable hands such as you know ace king and other unmade hands like that so